Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a SmackDown. Lay in a SmackDown for ya. Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. You can almost smell the turkey cooking, King. Well, I don't know anything about turkey, but I do smell a goose that's about to get cooked, and that's a big goose known as the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom has earned several championship matches for TLC. One of those matches will pit Wade Barrett against the WWE Champion, Undertaker. Yeah, and if Undertaker destroys Wade Barrett, I'll have plenty to be thankful for. Ooh, that sounds like a fun match. Hope we get to play that one. Undertaker has to be around here somewhere. Or we get to fight him backstage. That's pretty cool, too. There was a few wrestlers just standing around, but oh, we found him! Police kick! Where did he go? Oh, it's old school Undertaker. You know the one with the long hair? That's pretty cool. Okay, we need to finish him off somewhere. He oh shit! Oh! Oh! God damn it, I felt it on my nose. You're mine now. Sorry, Undertaker. I like you, dude. You're awesome. Guy with the ultimate streak. You can't beat me. Well, Brock Lesnar kind of destroyed the streak. Which was, I mean, a weird choice from the WWE. But then again, a streak is meant to be broken, eventually. But as long as there will be WrestleMania, there will never be such a streak as The Undertaker again. And it, it can never be matched. So awesome. I mean, it wasn't always the main event. It was actually never the main event. But The Undertaker matches were the thing that made WrestleMania. Now... He's still wrestling, which is pretty cool. Because if anybody has epic entrance music, it is The Undertaker. But the destruction of the streak? Uh, it was weird. It was a fucking shocker. I mean, there was speculation that they might end the streak. And they could never, you know, find a wrestler that could take the fallout from that. I mean, people would be pissed. And enter Lesnar. I mean, Brock Lesnar, he doesn't give a shit. I mean, that's his character, but in real life he's like, oh, fuck it, man, matches are matches, money is money. And when he won from The Undertaker, it was just, wow, jaw-dropping. The only thing that kind of sucks for The Undertaker himself was that he got injured in the beginning of the match, so he didn't have his Boom. ultimate match. Ah, we want to see you it's in game. the ring now. All right. Apparently, we're going to do a tag match. Well, this is unexpected. Apparently, Sheamus and Wade Barrett attacked Undertaker, and now Kane and Undertaker have challenged them to a match. Well, I think the United Kingdom have finally bit off more than they can chew. What do the Brothers of Destruction have in store for the United Kingdom? We find out next. Oh yeah, I'm in. Oh, but what I was saying is, he got injured during the match against Brock Lesnar, and, you know, he couldn't give his all, and that it wasn't really the match that should have ended the streak. It wasn't anybody's fault, I mean, Undertaker landed, well, poorly, and I think, I don't know, he broke some ribs or something, I don't know. But he was hurting, man. So Brock Lesnar had to carry him through the match. Normally, that doesn't happen. Because the Undertaker is the ultimate professional. Everybody says it was, ever wrestled him, he's like a perfectionist. Plus, he has an awesome character. Introducing first, the WWE Champion, The Undertaker. The Brothers of Destruction were pretty cool, man, back in the day. I mean, it, they did this gimmick that Kane was his brother. Thus, the Brothers of Destruction came to be. But they've also had their feuds in the past, which are pretty cool. I mean, Big Red Monster Kane was introduced back in the day, you know, the masked version. That was 
pretty sweet, man. Fighting Undertaker, epic matches. I mean, everybody knows the Undertaker and he's, you know, a legend in his own time, but Kane has been wrestling for so long and he still has mad skills. And kudos for him, he's still on like almost every night. That's pretty damn respectful, man. Whether you like him or not, you have to respect the dude. Oh, we get a new theme song. And their opponents, Wade Barrett and the European Champion, the Celtic Warrior. <laughs> He's like, yep, yeah, let's go. In WWE, fourteen. Yes, fourteen. You have this option to beat the streak. There are two modes. You can be the Undertaker and fight as many wrestlers as you can for, you know, points, skill points, whatever. Get a high score, or you can choose a wrestler to take on the Undertaker, and beat him in the most epic match possible. But I love to do the the matches as the Undertaker. You just have to, you know, fight and fight and fight and fight until you annihilate it, all your opponents or you get pinned yourself. I mean, it just goes on and on and on in a circle, so it is pretty damn cool. Even if you have your custom characters, they will enter the match as well, so that's pretty funny. I once held the third position in the high score list. Yeah, you wouldn't say it if you seem to wrestle this game, because... I haven't done this in a while and I suck at the control and also I have some difficulty with the targeting system. That's not my fault, that's the game. But WWE 14, I rocked that game, especially as The Undertaker. But it has been having some surfer difficulties, you know. Late, uh, last time I tried that, you know, to you know, go on the streak. I had a fucking high score, and I mean really huge. I, it was amazing. And then when it came to the the scoring screen, you know, the end of the match, because somebody beat me eventually, I mean, I was too injured to continue. Then the game crashed. So I was like, fuck it, no! And I had to redo the match, but then I redid the match, and somehow it did, you know, sort of count my score. You can only do that once a week or something like that. But it didn't upload my score. So I got so fucking pissed. I'm like, fuck you, game. I had two amazing matches. The, the first one crashed, and the second one, I couldn't upload my score because it said I already uploaded a score, which I didn't. And that's kind of when I stopped playing that mode because I'm like, Ugh. maybe oh, you should do that again. I mean, it, it is kind of fun. This maybe after the story mode. Oh, no. The key is just, you know, you can do a, an awesome match with all kinds of difficult moves and stuff like that. But you really have to store finishers when you do that. But anyway, guys, we finished this match. Next time, we'll do the next match.